Hello and welcome to question 4 of our UCE Chemistry Paper 2 2022. A hydrocarbon Q consists of 85.7% carbon by mass. We want us to determine the simplest formula of Q. So for us to find the simplest formula of Q, we need to first know the elements present in a hydrocarbon. A hydrocarbon basically consists of hydrogen, where the word hydro comes from, and then carbon. So they have told us the percentage by mass of carbon, it is 85.7. So we need to also know the percentage by mass for hydrogen. So we shall subtract 85.7 from 100 to get the percentage of hydrogen by mass. So we shall get 14. Point three. So, for us to be able to find the simplest formula, we need to relate the percentage to mass. We need to find the number of moles. How can we do that? We can assume that the mass of, of M is, say, 100 grams. And in this case, the percentages will be a good representation of the actual masses present. So, we shall have a mass of carbon to be 85.7 and the mass of hydrogen to be 14.3 grams. So we can use that to determine the number of moles. So the elements present, we have carbon and hydrogen. We shall start with carbon and then hydrogen instead of the other way around because we know when you're writing hydrocarbons, usually we have something like this, you know. We normally start with carbon and then hydrogen. Okay, this may not show the actual picture, but if I say C3H8, we normally start with carbon and then we end with hydrogen. So we have our elements, we have carbon and hydrogen. We need to find the number of moles, taking our percentages as mass in this case. So we shall divide the given percentage by the relative atomic mass of the given element as we are going to see. So number of moles. We can call this number of moles of carbon and hydrogen. We shall get the, the mass, in this case, 85.7, divided by the relative atomic mass of carbon that is always provided on the first page of the question paper, which is 12. And then hydrogen, 14.3. We can be specific here. If that is it, divide by 1, because hydrogen is 1. And then we shall get the corresponding number of moles. We shall get 7.1417 for carbon and still 14.3 for our hydrogen. So from this we can find the simplest ratio by dividing through by the smallest number of moles. In this case, carbon has the smallest number of moles. Divide through by 7.14. 1, 7, both sides, and then we shall have 1, 2, 1.96. Now, because we are looking for whole numbers, we shall need to round off this at least to around 2. So 1.96 is approximately equal to 2. So that means one carbon atom, this one carbon atom, will always pair or relate with two hydrogen atoms. So the simplest formula of Q will become CH2. This two is this one here, while we have an invisible one here between carbon and hydrogen. So this becomes the simplest formula of Q. Part B, 0 0.224 grams of Q, which pi is 96 cubic centimeters at room temperature. Determine the molecular formula of Q. So they want us to find the actual formula of Q. And for us to do that, we need to bring in some other theory. They have told us it occupies 96 at room temperature. But we know that for any gas, how do we know it's a gas? We are dealing with volume. Obviously, in most cases, if it's a gas, we shall always deal with volumes. If it's a solid, we shall deal with mass. And usually, if it's a liquid, we must use also volume as well. So we have 96 cubic centimeters at room temperature. But we know that one mole of a gas occupies 24 liters at room temperature. Now 24 liters is the same as 24,000 
cubic centimeters. So I'm interested in finding one mole, the mass of one mole, because it will help me determine the molecular formula of Q. So what does that mean? It means that my 96 cubic centimeters of Q contains 0.224 grams. Now I need to know which mass will be present in 24,000 cubic centimeters because I know that then that mass will be for one mole. What will be the molar mass of, of Q? So what about 24,000? cubic centimeters. This will contain 24 times that divided by by this. So we shall have 24 times 0 0.224 grams divided by 96. So we shall divide that by 96. So what do we get? We shall get 56 grams. So this times that divided by 96 we get 56 grams. So what does this mean? It means that this is the mass for one mole of Q because one mole of Q would occupy the 24,000 cubic centimeters. So for us to, to know the actual molecular formula, we shall get the empirical formula. This simplest formula is known as the empirical formula. Empirical formula. So empirical formula times a certain number or a certain multiple will always give us the molecular formula and which is also usually equal to the molecular mass that's right molecular mass so we are multiplying the empirical formula times a certain number to be equivalent to the molecular mass and we know that carbon we have one atom 12 times 1 plus hydrogen 1 times 2 times n is equal to 56, we shall get our value of n as n is equal to 4. So if n is equal to 4, we shall come back here and substitute it here and get the actual molecular formula. So the molecular formula becomes C4H8 because we have something like this. So it becomes C4H8. So this becomes the molecular formula of Q. So all you have to know is that one mole of a gas occupies this. You can convert this to cubic centimeters or the cubic centimeters to liters. And then also convert the 96 cubic centimeters to liters. But I chose the other way around. And then I had to find the mass of Q that would occupy 24,000 cubic centimeters. And then I related that with this formula here. You multiply empirical formula by a certain constant, you can get the molecular formula or the molecular mass of that given compound. That's all I had for question 4. Let me know in the comment section if something is challenging. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.